we know it here at the scene right now uh, in front of the Clinton Correctional Facility. Much lighter police presence than we've seen earlier today, but that does not mean that this search is in any way diminished. Uh, now we're going to take a look at this story, uh, talking about exactly what happened here earlier today. Take a look. So these are dangerous people, uh, and they're nothing to be trifled with. A massive manhunt after officials say two dangerous inmates, David Sweat and Richard Matt, escaped from Clinton Correctional Facility in what's being called an extremely elaborate scheme. It encompassed uh, drilling through steel walls and steel pipes, so this was not easily accomplished. So we, we don't yet know how they acquired the tools. We've done our internal inventory and we've accounted for all of our tools. Both Sweat and Matt are convicted murderers, serving 25 years to life and life sentences. Police say the two men were first noticed missing during overnight bed checks. That's when corrections officers reportedly discovered holes in the back of the men's cells. That led to their very detailed escape route. But the point of exit uh, was the uh, manhole cover down the block. There were a series of tunnels that connected to that manhole cover. They, uh, they gained access from the back of their cell, which is a steel wall. They went through the steel wall into a catwalk, down an elaborate maze of pipes into tunnels, and exited a series of tunnels at the manhole cover. More than 200 officers, SWAT teams, canines, and three police helicopters circled the maximum security prison in the massive manhunt for the two inmates. No stone is being left unturned. So we'll undertake a full investigation to make sure uh, that this was the first and uh, the last time anyone escaped from this facility.